And we back. We back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we back. We back. I'm good looking guys like me. All right, here in a second, I'm gonna bring some fans back on. Uh, join me to talk about acting, to talk about the show, to talk about really how times are going right now and how things are going. That's what we're going to talk about here in a second. So I'll be uh, pulling a couple of you guys on here in just a second. Let me just get the setup all situated. Here we go. I'm gonna have a nice professional sit down. That was bad. Here we go. There we go. Sweet. Okay. The pattern of my boot. Okay, Doki. Yeah. A little professional interview. Okay, so I'm just going to pull a couple of you guys on, talk about the show, and um, to just ask you guys some questions on what's your favorite scenes and stuff like that, and uh, we'll see how you guys are doing. So here we go. Well, I'll add somebody here. Uh, does Nick want to join? Nick, do you want to join me? Yeah? <laughs> He dipped. All right. And boom, bada, bang. Uh, we're going to go. Uh, let's go with. All right. We got a. Nick. Different Nick. Not Nick from Cyril. Sorry, Nick. Going to be hopping on here in a second, Nick. A Nick decline. Poor Nick. Sorry, guy. I know. Intimidating. Sorry. Uh, okay. Then uh, we're going to go with Laura. Laura, you want to you wanna talk to JJ for a little while? Slash Rudy? Connecting. No. Hi. No. How you no. doing? <laughs> oh my god. Hi. How's it going? Oh, I can't. I can't believe. I can't believe. Well, hey, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, hi, guys. Oh. Hi. No. You guys want to talk no. about Oh my god. god. Hi there. Hi. My heart. My heart is up. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Are you serious? <laughs> How are you doing? Laura, is it Laura? Is it, am I saying it correctly? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm good. Where are you from? Where are you at right now? Oh, I'm, I'm in Brazil. You're in Brazil? You're in Brazil. What part of Brazil are you in? Uh, Sao Paulo. Do you know? Wow, yeah. Well, holy crap. Well, thank you so much for watching the show. And I... I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed it. And all, honestly, all the love coming from Brazil. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. Well, <laughs> so nice to hear that. Yeah. Hey, so I see mm -hmm. I have both of you guys here. What's your name? I, uh, I'm Rudy, by the way. Uh, Lada. My name is Lada. Lada? Uh, one more time. Lada. <laughs> like in, Lada. In Portuguese. Uh, and then, and, yeah. and then you have another friend there. Who is this? This is my sister, Leticia. Hi. Leticia. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Rudy. Uh, what guys, guys, what is your favorite part of the show? What is, what is uh, something that you guys really... Like, every um, single part? Yeah? Well, well that's well, a lot like, of it. The hot tub scene when Kiara hugs you is like... Oh, it's so warming, isn't it? That was a really fun scene. Um, for me, I'd say, like, my favorite scene, like I said, is Midsummer, but then, like, to be completely honest with you, any scene that has Officer Shoop in it, uh, Colin, that's his name, who plays Shoop, I love it. Like, every single time. I, I looked at him as an actor, and I'm like, damn, he really knows what he's doing. Um, 
and I really admired him on set for sure. Shout out to Colin. Um, so any scene with him, Nick, who plays Barry, I love all his scenes. Drew's, Drew's an amazing actor. Honestly, everybody on the show, great Everyone, actors yeah. and actresses. They did a great job. Um, but, well, hey, man, I, I guess just got to thank you guys so much for all the love from Brazil, and I hope you guys are staying safe uh, down there. Um, yeah, and thank you so much for the support, guys, and thank you for coming thank on live. You, thank you, thank you. Oh, my God, I, I, I can't even believe that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring okay. somebody else on there. So you guys have a good rest of the day, okay? Bye. 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 All right. We're, here we go. That's my setup. Sorry about double tapping that. All right, let's bring somebody new on really quickly. Uh, we're going to go with... <clears throat> Caroline, I'm picking everybody that has the name in the show, but Caroline, you're live with Rudy Ponko. Hey, Kara. Hi. How you doing? Good. Um, this is kind of awkward. I just finished a workout. <laughs> I, I just got out of the bathtub, so we're both weird. You know, it's both weird. So no, it's totally I look cool. so rough. Oh, my gosh. No, you're totally cool. I, my hair is all wet, and I, I'm breaking out. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Hey, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Yeah, have you watched the entire show? Because I don't watch it anything. through twice. So twice. Oh my gosh! Far, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, where are you at right now? I'm in Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia. Yeah. How are things there right now? Is it? Uh, like... Well, I'm an ER nurse, so things are kind of crazy right now. But <laughs> but we're hanging. Wow. Out. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody that's watching right now, this is the hero. This right here. Thank you so no. much. Holy cow! No, I'm serious. Thank you so much, and I'm, I'm such an it's an honor to have you on with me right now. Um, wow! Say so, thank you. I can't thank you enough right now. Uh, but well, hey, thank you. Uh, the show's been a welcome distraction with all the craziness. Oh, wow, that really <laughs> means a lot. Like you have no idea how much that means to me. Um, but I mean, so in Virginia, you said it's like. How how's it going there? Is it it's, still pretty? It's uh, we're still pretty much on lockdown or not lockdown, but stay at home orders till June. So not oh, June. so you know we're all isolated, yeah. but it's going okay. Yeah, it's going okay. We're we're doing the best we can. Yeah, um, and I sure hope everybody that's watching right now, like this is definitely somebody that it's it's just one of a million like thank yous right now that I can just oh, have on you. with me. That so, means so uh, much. Uh, I wanna ask a couple questions about well like is there anything that you would want to share to people that are watching right now uh other than washing your hands and keeping <laughs> safe distances anything else that you would want to add uh, uh to that no just i don't know just being isolated just reach out to yeah. your friends and family this is a really isolating yeah. time but just love on each other and we'll all get yeah started. Yeah, and, like, something I was asking is, like, the mental state people are in right now and, like, the anxiety that this brings. Um, mm -hmm. I know I had a bunch of anxiety from it for when it first broke out, and all of a sudden, like, things were getting really serious really fast. Um, and he, well, I got hit with a heart anxiety attack, well, and I still remember it. And I actually even want to say, it, like, it, I want to say my anxiety even thought I had symptoms like that's mm -hmm. very a very usual thing to have when you feel that much anxiety um is there anything that you want to like add i mean i know what i did to deal with the anxiety is i called my mom i talked to my family and i actually talked to the castmates from the show and i yeah. did that um and it really really helped is there anything that you would say to people that are watching right now to help with the anxiety um i think just taking like i i suffer from the same stuff and obviously seeing it every day it's yeah. It's hard not to be have anxiety too, but I'd say just take it one day at a time. And again, just like love on each other, reach out to people if you need it and just take it one day at a time. That's really all you can do. But okay. yeah, we'll, we'll get through it. Yeah. Things will go back we'll to normal. <laughs> Things will, this will pass. This yes. will pass in time and everyone's working like you. Yeah. Like a thousand percent as fast as they can to make sure that, you know, we get through this the safest as possible. Um, well, I mean, hey, you can talk about the show if you want. I just want to, like, <laughs> honestly, when I have somebody that works as an ER talk, I just want to talk about all that. <laughs> but, uh, hey, like, is there any part of the show that really speaks to you? Um, I just, I mean, again, this sounds so cheesy, but just, like, the friendship on the show. Like, 
That's mm-hmm. really awesome. And I just love that you guys are there for each other no matter what. I think about like, you know, if I was in that situation with these people, like all these murders and like running from the cops and all this stuff, like to have someone like that that would stick with you through anything is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you're right. Like I, I really enjoyed the adventure of it of like I kinda wanna live a life like that. Like yeah. something I learned from playing JJ was mm-hmm. like, oh, like I mean, I did a little bit of that uh, for where, where I grew up, where I trespassed and all that stuff. I, yeah. I, I, sorry, maybe I shouldn't say everything. <laughs> but, like, but like, uh, but I never was like, I, <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't um, as, you know, rebellious as JJ. But after playing him, I was definitely like, well, is there anything I want to do to spice my life up a little yeah, bit and yeah. get a little no trouble? I wouldn't recommend doing anything that the Pogues <laughs> actually do, but I would recommend going outside and really looking and trying to do something other than just, you know. I Okay. <laughs> I realize what I just said. Not right now. Don't <laughs> go outside right now. Don't do that. Don't be a Pogue right now. It's not a time to be a Pogue. It's time to watch, the, watch it and then yeah. feel excited for the future. That's... That's how we should properly say that. Or just <laughs> stay six feet apart. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there you go. So it comes from the you heard it here from the air doc yes. for sure. Yeah. Oh man. Hey, Caroline. Thank you so much for thank being you. on. Thank you. And it's it's an honor. Uh, thank you oh, so much. Thank for you. Me. I mean so much. Um, and just to let you know, just a little side plug. Um, there's a Facebook group of us that have watched the show, like continuously. Um, okay. It's called Outer Banks. So, Outer. Hold on. And- so, gonna grab a pen. B-A-N-K. Yeah, grab a pen. Grab a pen. Grab a pen. Uh, what is it? Okay. It's outer, and then it's okay. B-A-N-K-S-T-E-E-N-S. T-E-E-N-S. Yeah. Okay, Outer Banks. Outer Banks. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So, third for us, and obviously... We'll add you. <laughs> awesome. Outer Banks, Outer Banks teams on Facebook. Yep. Perfect. I'll add you guys. Thank you so much for having me on this. Just Thank you so day. much, Caroline. <laughs> and have a good rest of your day, okay? Thank you, too. Bye. Bye. That was awesome. So cool to have that person on with me. I am... Oh, love that. Love that stuff. <clears throat> Thank Caroline, guys. Thank her so much. Uh, all right, let's go. I, I think we have time for one more. One more. Why not? Why not? Nick, do you, do you want to join me, Nick? Do you? Do you? Come on. Yes, if you want. All right. Nick, do you want to come on live with me or do, you, do I just adopt you? All right, Nick. <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go with uh <laughs> let's go with uh Taylor. Taylor, I'm bringing you on live with Rudy. Oh, she died. She declined. She declined. That's okay. She declined. Uh, let me see here. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's go. Uh, Kendall? Kendall, you want to join me? All right, Caroline, I'll invite you after this one. Hi there. Hi. How you guys doing? <laughs> Good. We're just uh, off by the pool, <laughs> enjoying the day. Nice, nice. Oh I my god, that. I'm shocked. Okay, we never thought this would happen. We, we... <laughs> totally true. Sorry, totally I'm kidding. True. She's no, your I, biggest I, fan. Oh, yes. oh, thank you guys. Is JJ actually your favorite? Because he's my favorite as well. I have to say. Wait, what did you say? Right, okay. JJ is also my favorite. Is I, you know, it's, it's uh, not yeah. biased at all. It's not biased at all. Uh, where are you guys at right now? We're, We're just Carolina. North Carolina at the pool. You're the North Carolina. Yes. Nice. Well, hey, thank you so much for watching the show. And I look, I, something I want to ask you guys: Does the show, even though it's shot in Charleston, 
portray the Outer Banks okay. Like, like it's we would love to shoot in the Outer Banks, but I wanted to ask you guys, since you're from North Carolina, and I assume, I'm just assuming, have you guys been to the Outer Banks? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I would assume and I so. Wait, I'm sorry. We have music going everything. What was your question? <laughs> my question? My question was just from, I wanted to ask the people from North Carolina, since we shot in South Carolina in Charleston, we right. had to make it look as much as we can to the outer uh, was, Did we do an okay job at it? That was one yes. of my main things. And you did a good job. When my, both my parents saw the show going, they're like, this is so amazing to watch. It's just like South Carolina and North Carolina. That's good. It That's does. Good. And like, I think you pulled other pieces of like North Carolina into it. And that was really cool. Oh, well, that's really cool. This is the first. I haven't heard that before. But, like, my grandma's from North Carolina, and she said... What more? Oh, uh, she's from... Uh, wait, Hilton Head, is that South Carolina or North Carolina? I'm oh, so sorry. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> right on the edge. Right on the edge, but I love Hilton Head. Yeah. That's she, amazing. Yeah, so she's from there, and she said, wow, and she has been out to the Outer Banks, like, countless times. And she's like, wait, yeah. you didn't shoot it out in the Outer Banks? And I was like, no, we shot in Charleston, South Carolina. And she's like, yeah. oh... And so, um, no, that's, I was really happy to hear that from my grandma. But, uh, hey, guys, what is your favorite, favorite scene from the show? Or what text? I know this is a popular one, but the hot tub was so funny. I watched oh it my. with my parents, like, parts of it. Yeah. And my dad had already watched it all the way through, and he was like, whenever it came up, he was like, you're going to love this part. Because I would get, like, scared during parts because, like, so much crazy stuff happens. There's my dad. Oh! Hey there, Dad! We got a flasher! Oh <laughs> I, I was doing the same thing here in a second. I was in the hot tub a second ago. We that saw that. Not, Don't worry, we saw. Okay, okay. Was it a hot tub or was it your bathtub? I, I like to daydream and hot say that's a hot tub, but it's, I'm just going to say it's not that. Hey, I, I call my too. bathtub a hot tub. I went too. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so I, can I'm dream. Dream. I can dream. I can dream. I can dream. I know. Right. You can dream. You gotta dream, especially these You days. gotta pretend. So, mm. what? What was your favorite scene? Do you have multiple uh, I, I do have a favorite scene. My favorite scene was Midsummer. Do so you guys know what scene that was? Which one? Midsummer's the one where it's like the party and the kooks do their whole entire. I love that one too, where you came in. Yeah. And you were like, yeah. I'm gonna chug this really quick, and you chugged and that guy's Caroline. Drink. Yeah, she had that crazy headpiece thing. Yes, yeah, I love that one. So that seems my favorite because we had the entire cast, except Nick. Sorry, Nick, if you're watching again. Uh, there. And um, it was yeah. such a – it was kind of, I want to say, D-Day for Out of Banks because it was actually pretty early on when we shot that. It's like halfway yeah. through the, the season. So it was kind of like the day of, like, we have everybody here and then we have, like, 200-plus extras. And it was like we were performing – live pretty much you yeah. know so like there's like i think in certain parts there are three cameras set up but they were very well hidden and so and except for the tracking shot um and that shot is obviously you know cameras right behind yeah. but like there's a lot of establishing shots that we had no idea that they were filming and like the party goers didn't know either and we were just kind of like yeah. doing that scene and going through it like three times and they were like all right moving on and like we were like wait <laughs> we, you guys were Wait, filming and, like, it was, it, yeah it was a really fun scene and really was like it was a collaborative effort of like sinking into a scene with a bunch of extras and i yeah, love that and yeah. the extras did great they did amazing right. i had this gentleman who uh i ta he taps me on the shoulder and he tells me to get a gin and tonic for him and uh <laughs> he was like he, he was like i i, I don't want to like throw him under the bus but he's pretty elderly he's a pretty <laughs> elderly guy but he came up to me and was like all right, am I doing this right? And like, he was so Aww. like willing to ask me a younger person if he was acting correctly. And I was just, was like, I was, I felt honored to be even asked the question, like if I, anything yeah. else. And um, in that scene, I had all that, like uh, the scars or bruises from my dad. Yes. And I told him, acknowledge it. And he, uh, he was like, oh, great tip. And he was like, that's a, and it was just a fun collaborative effort from extras meeting the actors. Yeah. And it was so much fun. I bet it was yeah. fun to have all of them there, like, with y'all, you know, because yeah. they were probably so excited, and then them there making it easier for y'all. Plus, when you think about, like, true, like, deep South Carolina, North Carolina people, they're exactly how they were depicted in the show, which, obviously, because they were the locals, and that was awesome. Yeah. No, well, that's super neat. That is definitely... That's cool to hear from you guys. Well, hey, guys, thank you so much for coming on with me. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs>
We love you. Yeah, we love you and the show. Thank you. Bye. And now we got to get Caroline on here. Caroline, I'm bringing up uh, Lady Liberty herself. Caroline, you here? Where are you at? Caroline? Caroline, are you not on here? I thought I just saw you. <clears throat> uh, so sorry, guys. For sorry for the delay. Uh, this is Captain speaking. Caroline, are you here uh, on board the Outer Banks Live? I do not see you. Okay, strange. Well, guys, oh, there she is. She's on here. I don't know why I can't add you. Caroline, you're not coming up on Go Live with. I like search you. Okay, hold on. All right, let me try this. Caroline, you're unable to join. Uh, uh guys, I'm a little struggling here. I try to add Caroline, and she's uh for some reason unavailable. Does anybody know why that's a thing? Caroline, why am I unable to uh, be live with you? I'm here, yo. I'm trying, girl. Hi, live video. Huh? All right. Uh, Caroline, I'm like trying to add you and it's just being ridiculous. Pin comment. I don't want to pin comment. You're not popping up. <clears throat> That's so strange. Uh, yeah, can you request Caroline? I'm trying to. Requests, requests. Caroline, did you request? Lady Liberty, do you copy? Do you copy? <clears throat> That's so strange. Uh, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. And me. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why, Caroline. Um, there we go. There we go. All right, got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. That took a lot more effort than I thought it would. But here we go. Waiting for Caroline. And five, four, three, two, one. Is the connection bad, Caroline? Is that what it is? It says waiting for Caroline. <clears throat> Oh guys, want to play tic tac toe, rock paper scissors? I don't know. Not j <sighs> waiting for Caroline still. Waiting for Caroline. This is Captain speaking. Uh, Caroline, you're being requested to go on live with Rudy Paco. Is there any chance that you could accept that? Please and thank you. Uh, that's right, Nick. She got to shine the papers. If, uh, you get security clearance on this, uh, here live, then you can hop on live with, uh, Ruth Ponko slash JJ. Uh, okay. Unable to join again, Caroline. All right. Look, Caroline, I love you, but we gotta move on. Gotta move on from this. For some reason, Instagram is not wanting us to be on live together. That's ridiculous. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah. Hey, Bailey, are you on? Maddie Bailey, you on here? No. Uh, okay. 
We're gonna go with. Shelby, Shelby, welcome to Live with Rudy Ponka. Waiting for you. Oh, the connection's bad. I think the connection's bad. Yeah. Shelby, is your connection bad? Shelby, this is Captain speaking. Are you there? Oh. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we're trying to get connect. It says it's connecting still. Dot dot dot. We're gonna have to care not. Shelby, come on now. Shelby. Hop on this live. Uh I'm so sorry, Shelby. I don't know why the connection's poor. <clears throat> um Shelby, I'm so sorry. So sorry, Shelby. Oh, goodness gracious, it's not connecting. All right. You there? All right, Caroline, I'm going to try adding you one more time. Waiting for Caroline. Caroline, I'm, I'm waiting. <gasps> no! It worked! Freaking finally! Goodness gracious. I don't even know what was going on. I was outside, and my, my um, connection must have been bad. No, like, like, I was wondering if it was because, like, Instagram needs to have a certain amount of connection. I was like, choose. So that was it. That's the answer. You're just outside. I was outside sipping an Aperol spritz, and I sprinted inside just to talk to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Caroline, she just, what she does for the OBX cast, it's amazing. I feel like it's the least you could do because people are going to be commenting Lady Liberty on my photos for the rest of my life. Yeah, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Like, that's... Look, I get I get Harry Styles, all right. I, I look, I know there's a little difference there, but like Liberty Harry Styles, you know, same thing, same thing, yeah. <laughs> I, I get the Harry Styles thing. I see, I totally get it. the hair, the eyes. The hair. It's the hair. Like, I think it's the yeah. I think it's that. If I was like Batman, I'd be good. If I was Batman, and then Harry Styles was also Batman, they would be like, oh, which one is? I think that was the thing. That was the thing. Uh, how are you doing, Caroline? You doing okay? I'm good. How about you? I'm doing okay. How about you? I miss you all. Yeah, I miss you too. And we're just waiting on season two here and <clears throat> so we can get that show on the road. Um, I know. Just it's waiting for the new from Netflix. Exactly. Wait, where are you at I right need, now? I'm in Atlanta. You're in Atlanta. Yeah, but I need to talk to you about that whole mess you started on Twitter by putting out that still of you and me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was reading it and I was reading it and I was like reading the thread and laughing and I was like how did this get out and then I was like oh Rudy posted it I, I thought it would be a funny like Twitter post and like everyone was just all like Rudy, Rudy and Key which is cute guys it's adorable yeah. and Rudy and Pope and I'm like that's even more cute but like, like surprise wait a minute there's a little song something I could do about this uh I, were you were you okay with it? I, I guess I should have asked. I thought it was hilarious. So should we show. should we let the world know? We should let. Are the we world allowed? Know. I don't know if we're allowed to. Are we allowed to? Is Jonas gonna kill us? I think. Uh, I mean, it's on. The, it happened. It happened. So, like, okay, guys. So I think Netflix. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna let you say it because. Uh, <laughs> There's just, there's just, there's just scenes. The guys, there's scenes that don't make it. There's scenes that don't make it in there. And there was a scene that Caroline and I had. It wasn't, it wasn't like that big of a scene, really. It was just, uh, I walked yeah. in, drop off the groceries, and they just, they just had to cut down the episode. And it didn't make it sound. But that's where that photo came from. That's where that photo came from. And it was, I thought it'd be a hilarious <laughs> little, like, twist. And everybody was like, wait, what the heck? And I was like, season two leaked already? Like, that's I know, so I love that people were like, season two leaked, as if we just, like, filmed them all back to back to back to back. <laughs> <laughs> Which honestly, like, I mean, that'd hopefully cool. that'd be cool if season yeah. two and three happened that way. You guys um, keep watching the show. We keep tweeting about it and talking about it because we really want to hang out with our friends more. Exactly. We still want to be chilling and drinking. What were we, cranberry spritz or something? What was that? Aperol were you drinking? spritz. Aperol was spritz. Was Aperol spritz. It was, it, was very, it was a very Rose Cameron moment. I, have <laughs> I was about to say, like, that's pretty that Rose. Energy. That's pretty Rose of you. That's it. Kook! Everyone say kook in the comments. Kook. Um, Everyone write kook. Hey, I have to say, your cork, your cork exercise, 
Yeah. I'm like a big, my articulators and my diction are not always great when I'm acting and I'm going to steal that. Yeah, no, it That's actually, great. it definitely helps, uh, especially when you do your line. So you, you have the script, <clears throat> you have it with you and you have, even on set, I sometimes have a cork in my trailer because I'm just yeah. like practicing the lines with the, uh, uh, with the cork in my mouth. And then I go do the, go on set and it just seems to come easier for me. It's um, so smart. I was like, that's brilliant. And you can always have a cork with you. Yeah, exactly. In I mean, fact, if you can't get a cork, you probably, you know, are under 21 or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. None of our, is any of our cast under 21? I don't think so. Uh, besides Weezy? Besides Weezy? Besides Weezy, uh, let me think. I don't think, no, everyone turned 21 this, oh, JD. JD. You want to hear something Weezy. crazy? Oh, yeah. Speaking of age that we just, Chase and I just figured out last week, Chase and I went to the same high school. We were at the same high school for like six months. What? Years ago. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? We had no idea. But I had all these friends from my high school being like, you and Chase in the same show, you and Chase in the same show. And I was like, what? And they were like, you know, he went to your high school. You guys went to the same high school. And so we figured it out and we were there at the same time. See, how does this happen to Chase? This seems to always happen to Chase. Like, like he's somehow connected to everybody. So like, weird. It's it's, but it was a really connected. huge high school, so we never, I, I had no idea, like, we never interacted. But what are the odds? No, that is insane. That's absolutely yeah. absurd. Uh, wait, what high school is it? Do you want to give that shout out? Yeah, Harrison High School in West Cobb in Atlanta. Hey, West Cobb Chase, in was Atlanta. Only, Chase was only there for, like, a second. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. But, so, that's absolutely absurd. Um, but, hey, how's it? I'm in... I'm in Los Angeles. I'm not in Alaska. I wish I could go back up up there, but I didn't want to, one, I didn't want to, look, I didn't want to be the guy that brought anything to Alaska. Like, I mean, right now, there was a little something up there right now, but it's being mm -hmm. handled really seriously, and it, they're doing a great yeah. job. Alaska's doing a great job at quarantining. <clears throat> you, you can imagine, there's so much space up there. Uh, and I didn't want to be that guy. Yeah, that, you don't like, want to be the guy who, like, who knows it from L.A. Right? right, like, like I'm coming from the hub, yeah. and who, who wants to be that guy? So I decided not to. Um, <clears throat> but and, Atlanta, job. isn't that isn't it Atlanta opening up now? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. opened up on Friday. Um, technically, a lot of places are choosing to stay closed. I know for me, I'm still kind of staying put just to do my part for as long as I can. As an actor, there's not any work, so like. Obviously, some people have to return to work, which I totally respect and thank you, everybody who has to yeah. work. But yeah. um, since I don't, I'm kind of choosing to stay home for as long as I can. But, but yeah, we're opening back up, so fingers crossed that um, that everything goes goes well. Yeah, fingers crossed, and yeah. I mean, we probably will know in the next couple, like what, three weeks, if it's like yeah, they say like two weeks. Yeah, how are things in yeah. LA? Like, what's going on there? So we just got for all California citizens that are watching right now, free testing is um is out there for any California oh, wow. citizen. So yeah. I feel like we're gonna see a spike. Actually, we're gonna see yeah. like a little bit of a increase, and um, like we should pay attention to that. We should pay attention mm -hmm. to more cases are coming out because. A lot of people that don't feel symptoms have it. So yeah. <clears throat> that's the creepiest part about this thing. So right now, I think we're we're easing into a, it's really strange. The feeling is like we're over the hump, but at the mm -hmm. same time, we're going to go back up. Right, and right. we don't know if we can keep that up. So it's, it's a really yeah. strange feeling right now. Um, but I loved that you brought on. You had her on here earlier. Caroline was her name, I think. Yeah, Caroline was, was her name. Awesome. Caroline, if you're watching, yeah. I want to thank you personally. And anyone who's watching that's like out there working and keeping our stuff running and keeping us safe, thank you. Yes. Any essential we, workers that are out there, please yeah. thank you so much. We appreciate y'all. So yeah, how are you filling your time? What are you doing besides responding to Nick's creepy um, requests? <laughs> Good old, you know, I mean, that's basically is the gist of it. It's uh, a full-time job. It's a full time job. Uh, he wants me to be his dad now, so like that's. I know he said. That's he already, said uh, no, no. You need to adopt him. Yeah. So Nick, I'm, I I don't know if I'm the guy for it, the job. Um, <clears throat> you seem like you are a little a lot to handle, but you know what? Maybe that's that, maybe that's why I am going to be your dad. I should be your dad because I, 
I need to. <laughs> yeah, and JJ needs to learn how to be a parent at some point. <clears throat> yeah, um, he, he hasn't had a very good example set forth. Mm -mm, mm. By by old Gary Weeks. Exactly. What if what if what if Rose looks at JJ and it's like, I could. I could raise that kid and like all of a sudden they adopt the the Camerons adopt another pogue like that'd be crazy so far uh, everyone we've adopted it hasn't worked out super well for that person so if I were you I'd go for like Hayward or something because when Hayward brought you in for that hug I had mm -hmm. read the script like I had read I knew what was going to happen because I think that was a stage direction in the script and when I was watching that in the finale when he that family pulled you in for a hug both my husband and I were like like it, was such a good moment. Oh, so if I were you, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go for Rose to adopt you. I might go for him. <laughs> Let me bring up some valid points. Um, I want that to happen too. Actually, I think that'd be a hilarious dynamic of like living with Pope and just the contrast <laughs> of those two characters living together. Like I would Jake, love that. like Pope's like working on I don't know like his homework and keys in the corner and then JJ busts in the door with yeah. some girl or something and it's just like, can I use the room or something? <laughs> so <it's> ridiculous. <laughs> and then be like, no, no, get, no, you, you take her out. And then he's like, this is not how you treat a girl. You take her out for dinner, you be a gentleman. And J JJ's like, what? Uh, that'd be hilarious. Um, what, if you had one hope for next season, besides that we get a next season, that's the number one hope. But what do you want for JJ? I, that's what I want to know. Uh, one hope. I want a dog. <laughs> I'm still I know. Pushing I, keep, I think I've seen that in several interviews. It's like, wow, Rudy really wants to film with a dog. Have you ever filmed with a dog before? It's really hard. It's really hard to have, actually. It's like... Um, I was going to say, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. It would be such a time-consuming consuming, uh, character. Uh, but <laughs> I, think we would, I think Rudy's... I think my, I trust my chemistry with animals. And uh, I'm not going to call myself yeah. Jason, but I'm pretty dang close to it. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know. I think it'd be really fun. Netflix. Like said, JJ had a dog. Uh, I really I like want. That. I would really want to see uh, the Pogues fall apart after mm -hmm. this. Uh, we don't have John B. We need our glue. Uh, uh, we need to. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to somehow come together when what we think our friend is dead, and yeah. we don't. We just can't do right. it. And right. <clears throat> I want to see them fall apart and then come together. Um, before they realize that John B's, uh still alive in the Bahamas. Yep. So that's what I want to see. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. Be, I feel like it's going to be dark for a while. We think we think that John B and Sarah are dead, right? Yeah, and like, I, honestly, I've said this in several interviews, actually. Uh, a character, I think, that is going to have a really pivotal, like, kind of change and shift is Rose Cameron. She's going to be, you're going to be the, like, the skeevy little mastermind behind Ward and you're gonna have all these like honey this is what you do like that okay a little like Lady Macbeth say, you are Lady Macbeth oh my gosh you are oh my goodness you know, that like, was in my audition notes when I was first auditioning which by the way I booked the role literally one year ago today so I'm very <gasps> today's a great not crazy but in the audition notes Jonas sent me it was like something about Lady McBee and I've had a couple people DM me that if you DM me that and I haven't got back to you I've seen it and I love it but that makes me so happy because I'm like, that was in my audition notes. Hell yeah. You brought that through. You brought that through. <laughs> no, seriously, when you had that scene with Ward on the balcony. Mm -hmm. dude. Our scenes on the balcony, we, we always hatch great plans on the balcony and they always, they never go, they never go very well. <laughs> we need to find a new spot to have our conversations. Than our <laughs> I mean, like the little drone shot of you guys. And yeah. I was just like, oh, I wonder if anybody's listening or anything. Like, like okay, but... I, I'm serious. That scene was like such a oh, like when it was when it cut and like the scene transitioned from that yeah. scene. I got a shiver. I was just like, ooh, these people are these people that are skiing about the truckers, man. That's hilarious. Uh, but that was uh, what do you want? I have to ask season two. What do you want Rose Cameron to go through? Not not like what do you what character you want to deal with? What do you want you mm -hmm. character to deal with? I want to deal with this whole idea. I think in, this, in season one, what was kind of played on the surface is that the kids, uh, when I say the kids, I mean my stepkids, so Rafe, Sarah, Wheezy, that they don't respect me. And I don't think you see a lot of tenderness between me and the kids in season one. 
So I'm hope I'm wondering going into season two, I feel like if we play with Ward and I's marriage and how we really feel about each other, I'd love to see how I actually feel about the kids because I think there has to be some love there. Maybe maybe it's not the love like other people imagine it, but I want to play with like how does she really feel about those kids? Because she's I don't think she's right. evil to the core. And if right. she thinks that Sarah, to her knowledge, has perished, I'm interested to see how that plays out and to see how Jonas and Shannon and Josh have kind of conceptualized that. If we get season two, I think that'd be really fun to play with. I see that. Like, <clears throat> Ward's going to be really losing his mind, mm -hmm. and he's going to be doing his own thing. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you have to, like, basically take care of the kids and kind yeah. of play yeah. mom. You got to be yeah. mom. And I, I think I, it's, I can she see has to step up at this point. Yeah. And we'll see, yeah how that, see. we'll see how that manifests itself, how she actually steps up. <laughs> if it brings out a good side of her or a bad side of her, it could go either way. Both would be very fun to play. Yeah, Mama Bear. You go full yeah. Mama Bear season two. That's right. We'll see. So maybe I'll go full mama bear and you'll get a dog. I'll get a dog. And I'll, I'll be go. in my trailer with a cork, like practicing my, my line yeah. so that my articulators are fired up. Yeah, and I'll make sure the dog does it too. I'll make sure the dog does it too. I'll be like, you work on your lines, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, Caroline, thank you so much for coming on with Rudy. It was so good to see you. Everybody, uh, hi. We love you guys. Rudy, it was good yes. to see you. Guys, Hopefully I'll see you soon. You. Stay safe. Yeah, stay safe. And you, you have stay safe out in Atlanta because I will. things are opening up. So I will. Y'all stay safe. Mwah. Bye. Love you all. Love you too. Bye. All right. Well, that was fun, y'all. All righty, guys. Um. Well, I've been on for about a couple hours here. I'm gonna take a break. I gotta eat lunch. Um, guys, I love you so much. Please stay safe out there. Um, keep watching out of banks, guys. Like if you can, we really are shooting for season two and we're, we're, we're pr feeling pretty good about it. But also if you get that outer banks, Netflix page to a million followers, um, I will make a TikTok. Yay. Uh, you heard it here first. <clears throat> so love you guys. And thank you so much for the support. I got to go make lunch. Bye.